YouTube and my Guap Nation family. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a safe, blessed day. And today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to increase your Air Force One. Yes, you heard that right. I'm gonna show you how to increase your Air Force One lows. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, then y'all know that I created a whole bunch of tip videos to how to keep your Air Force Ones in good condition, how to lace them so that they look right on your feet, how to avoid creasing, all that. So this is nothing different. Now, let me just put a quick disclaimer out there before we get into the method and I'll show y'all everything that depending on how deep your crease is in your Air Force Ones, it may not come all the way out, but it'll show a visible difference when you use this method that I'm about to show you. But just keep that in mind because if you have like a super deep, sharp crease, you know, you can only do so much with that. But I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss an upload because your boy keeps y'all up to date on everything that you need to know, sneaker and style related, all that. I keep you up to date. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me show y'all what y'all gonna need for this method. So you'll need a couple items. The most important one is your Air Force Ones. As y'all can see, I got them right here. Let me show y'all what they're looking like. And I keep my Air Force Ones clean for the most part. So. I mean, it may not be too much visible damage. As y'all can see, I got a couple stains on them. I got one right there, you know, little stain back here. But as far as creasing, like right here, it's like a slight crease right there. On that one, notice this crease way more on this Air Force One. You can see it right there and going all the way across right there. But you can't lie, your boy keeps them clean to be wearing them all the time, so yeah. Check out some of my other videos. Y'all want to see tips on how to keep your Air Force Ones looking good. But you're going to need your Air Force One loads. You're going to need an iron. It doesn't really matter what type of iron in particular. Just if it can get the wrinkles out your clothes, it's good enough for this method. So make sure you got your Air Force One loads. You got your iron. I prefer a white towel because it's white Air Force One. So, you know, of course you got to do that. You can use a colored towel if you want to. But depending on how new it is, the dye may rub off on the shoe. So I would suggest if you want to try with the colored method, try it in the in an area that you wouldn't mind getting dirty or something like that, just to make sure that the dye doesn't rub off on the shoe. But white towel, iron, Air Force One low, and also two pairs of socks so that you can stuff the Air Force One with. So you got everything you need, now let's get into the method. But what we're gonna start out by doing is taking one sock and just stuffing it, making sure that toe box is nice and hard. Pause. I don't mean it like that, but <laughs> make sure that you got that, you got that on um, that sock stuffed in there. You know what I mean? Take the other sock, stuff the other shoe, get it in there nice and tight. Now that you got the sock stuffed in the shoe, you want to grab your towel and we're going to take it around here for a second. We need to wet the towel up. So let's take the camera around here. So what I'm going to be doing now is just wetting up the area of the towel that I want to use and you know, just get it nice and wet. Not the whole towel, just like a little portion of it. And you don't want it to be super wet. So you want to kind of wring it out. You just want it to be damp for the method. Oh, y'all give me a second while I wring this out, you know what I mean? So they're real strength, you know? Mm. Now it's nice and damp. You see? So now on to the next step. Now what you want to do is grab your iron and turn it to the highest heat setting. So I'm going to turn mine all the way over and give it a second to get hot. Okay, so the iron is pretty much heated and ready to go. Now you wanna take the damp part of the towel that you wet up earlier and wrap it around the area of the shoe that has the creasing and the wrinkles. So for example, it would be my toe box, you know? I wanna get those creases out. So make sure that it's nice and tight. You gotta wrap it around there. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna iron the toe box. And yes, it's okay if you hear that sound with me ironing. You hear that? That's okay. All we're doing is ironing the wrinkles out. So depending on how deep your crease is, you're gonna probably wanna iron over it a couple times. What you wanna do once it's done, I didn't go for the one on the side right here. As y'all can see just from the angle, I didn't go for this one. I went for the crease that's going across the toe box. And as y'all can see, you can't even really see it for real. So give it a chance to cool down. I'm gonna put this one to the side and grab the other one. I'm gonna wrap it around my toe box. Cause that's where the creasing is at for the most part. And hit it with that iron. 
Always remember too, when you're ironing, make sure that you're ironing the towel. You don't want to directly iron on the Air Force One. You want to iron the towel. All right. Right now we're gonna take the towel off and give this a second to cool down as well. Gave both shoes about a minute to cool off each. And as y'all can see, no more creasing on the toe box. Yeah, you see like a little minor creasing right here on the side, but as far as any indentation, no more creasing on the toe box at all. Even when I take the socks out, same thing. As y'all can see, no more creasing on the toe box. So in a second, I'm gonna get a top down view so y'all can see how it looks on my foot with the crease actually gone now. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's the method. If y'all have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments down below and let me know if this video helped you out. But yeah, that's how you get the, the creases out of your Air Force One. So now you don't have to worry about creases no more. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this video helped you. And until next time, Guap Nation, I appreciate y'all for tuning in and we out of here.